Imagine waking up to a cozy home in Knoxville, Tennessee with an average annual salary of $49,290. You can spend 20% off your income on rent, which is about $920 a month for a balanced and manageable life. But it's not just Knoxville, Tennessee. Cities like Green Bay, Wisconsin, and Huntsville, Alabama offer similar affordability. Green Bay boasts a median rent of only $851, with residents spending less than 20% of their income on living costs. Huntsville has an even lower percentage, with residents spending just under 20% of living expenses. Now imagine living with that same income in New York or in LA, where life is not so comfortable or manageable anymore. 50 grand a year will barely cover the living expenses. But here's where the challenge is. While the cities like Knoxville or Green Bay offers a lower cost of living, in Mississippi, the median income for a family of four is around $70,656. Yet, nearly 20% of the residents live in poverty. This disparity highlights a crucial issue. Affordable living doesn't always equate to a high quality of life. So with your $50,000 annual income, if you're considered upper class or upper middle class in Knoxville, Tennessee, you would be immediately fall under poverty line if you move to Mississippi. And in New York, would you be considered lower class with that amount? So in this video, we will try to figure out what income is considered upper class, middle class, and lower class in the United States. Now, what is the economic class and where do you exactly fall? Economic class is basically the thing that decides whether you're sipping champagne on a yacht or just chilling with a can of soda on your porch. Not clear? Imagine you're at a barbecue and there's three grills. The first grill has burgers and some chicken in it. The second grill has lobster tail and steak in it. And the third grill has just hot dogs and some veggies in it. The crowd of people that you see in front of the burgers and the chicken, those are the middle class people. It's a crowd pleaser, and most people are in that class. The people that you see in the front of the lobster, those are the upper class. And the people that you see in front of the hot dog, which is nothing fancy but just gets the job done, those are the lower class people. That's the basic picture of economic class. The question is, which grill do you eat at? It all depends on your income. If you're someone who makes between $30,000 to $100,000 a year, you are the majority of the crowd in front of the burger grill. In order to have some lobster and steak, you have to make over $100,000 a year. And if you're under the $30,000, you gotta be happy with some hot dogs. Maybe some ketchup and mustard if you're lucky, but that's about it. But here's where it gets tricky. If the burger grill is located in a place like LA or New York, you soon see the burgers or the chicken will turn into hot dogs. But if the same grill is located in Green Bay, the burger might turn into lobster and steak. It's not about the money. It's about how far that money takes you. You could be earning big bucks, but feels like you're just scraping by. The distance between the burger grill and the lobster grill has been growing like crazy over the year. Back in 1971, a solid 61% of American adults were chilling at the burger grill. Fast forward to 2019, and that number has dropped to 51%. But here's the crazy part. While the middle class burger grill has been shrinking, you would assume that they're gathering in front of the hot dog grill, right? Actually, no. They're hanging out by the lobster tail and steak grill. The crowd hanging out at the lobster grill, their share went from 14% to 20% during this time, according to the Pew Research Center. From 1970 to 2018, the median income for the burger grill crowd or middle class folks only went from 49% from about 51,000 to 86,000, but those upper class lobster grill, their income shot up by 64% from $126,100 to a whopping $207,500. That's a lot of state. But that's not only the income, it's also the wealth gap that's getting bigger. The top 5% of the families in the US had 114 times more wealth than families in the second quintile back in 1989. But by 2016, they had 248 times as much. Meanwhile, the wealth of the poorer families went down by at least 20% from 2007 to 2016. No matter which grill you're eating at, there's one thing that can turn your barbecue into burnt sausages without even you knowing it. Hi, my name is Sasha I'm a realtor and a diversified investor and on this channel, I make finance videos for all economic classes. Consider liking this video if you like barbecue. Now, economic classes aren't just one size fits all. In Knoxville, Tennessee, you could be flipping burgers on a middle-class grill with a decent house and a car. Now, take that same income and move to New York City, and suddenly, you're at the hot dog grill, wondering where did all your meat go? That's because the cost of living can vary widely from place to place. What gets a full plate in one city might get you a side salad in another. With that, there's also inflation. Remember when movie tickets were like five bucks? Now you need to take out a loan to see a flick. That's inflation for you. It's like someone slowly turning up the heat on the grill, but you don't realize until the burger is charred. Inflation affects whether you're in the middle class, upper class, or lower class. 
As prices rise, the money doesn't stretch as far, which might bump you down to a less fancy grill. It's like you're trying to keep grilling burgers, but now they are those frozen patties instead of those fancy artisanal ones. And then there's the job market and the economic cycle. In a booming economy, the middle class grill might be serving up some nice steaks. But when the economy tanks, it's back to the hot dogs and bean burgers. It's all about how the economy is doing, whether jobs are plentiful or scarce, and how much people are earning. But shrinking of the middle class is truly alarming for all of us and for the economy as well. Now, economy is the circulation of money. When the money is exchanged for goods or services, that's what moves the economy forward. And the major contributor for the economy is the middle class people. With their spending habits, they play a huge role in economic growth. When the middle class have enough cash to splurge, businesses strive. And when the businesses strive, that creates more job, keeping the wheel of economy greased. But it's not only about buying stuff. Middle class also contribute to a social stability. A robust middle class means less crime, better education, and a healthier society overall. So when the burger loses its heat, that's not only the bummer for the crowd that's hanging out by that middle class grill, it's a bummer for everyone. A few people buying stuff means businesses take a hit, which leads to a sluggish economy. Now with inflation and today's economy, which grill do you exactly eat at? But before you start eating your barbecue, consider joining the community by subscribing below. Now, if you're at the burger and chicken grill, you're pulling in somewhere between $50,000 to $250,000 annually as of 2024, according to Yahoo Finance. That's a pretty wide range, right? Yes, because you're the one who impacts the economy the most. America may run on docking, but you all are running America. According to Pew Research Center Standard, if you're bringing in more than $125,900 a year, you're at the lobster grill. You're probably the one that's looking for vegan butter on your lobster. And if your household is earning less than $42,000 annually, unfortunately, you are among the hot dog and veggie grill crowd. It's kind of a squeeze, even if you live in the cheapest place in America. Due to inflation and high cost of living, it's a struggle. Now, you might be thinking that you need to be super smart in order for you to move up in the economy class. But some Sometimes being super smart doesn't really help you to move up in the economy class. You can actually be dumb and make millions. Watch this video on how people dumber than you are making millions. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Thank you for hanging out with me. See you in the next video. Wondering where did all your wondering where did all blah 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 blah. It's like someone slowly turning up the heat on the grill. On the grill, grill, on the grill. It's like someone slowly turning up the heat heat on oh, the it's like someone slowly turning up the heat on the grill. On the grill. On the grill. It's like someone slowly turning up the heat on the grill. Hit, hit. Huh. Now, if you want me to keep eating my barbecue. Yeah. Oh, yeah.